Ladies and gentlemen, this next high stakes matchup right here in Wembley is scheduled for five three minute rounds of boxing. We introduce first the blue corner, standing five feet eight inches tall and weighed in at 166.7 pounds. His record one victory, no losses, no draws. Fighting out of the United Kingdom, introducing Chavez! And now I'm going to introduce this as a Standing 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighed in at 168.4 pounds. It's record, no wins, one loss, no draws. Also fighting out of the United Kingdom, introducing Tom Zanetti. When the action begins, you are referee in charge, Harvey Hara. You saw their way, Zanetti's pumped, he's the underdog, let's be honest, isn't he? Intensity on the face of Tom Zanetti, yes, he is here to prove that he can box, not just fight, he can box. Jarvis got the pedigree now, let's see what matters most. So again, a superb atmosphere here tonight, high stakes in every sense. And it's Zanetti looking to push forward, take center ring. Something I saw in Tom's open workout was that he has learned to box. He's been nine weeks locked away learning this sport. He's been a fighter all his life, but now we've seen some technique that we maybe haven't seen from him before. That said, sharp boxing in that exchange from Jarvis. Zanetti responds. Jarvis is going to be tight all night. Good technique, nice jab. The one thing you want to see from Jarvis that I've seen a couple of things in, in his training is his head coming off the center line. He walks into range flat, and he's going to get caught with a big one. Well, when he bobs and weaves like that, nice. Zanetti's doing the right thing, throwing the hooks to the body. But you, you just, as you said, there's already a crispness to Jarvis's work that you can see. And he's not staying in flat-footed in front of Tom. You see him changing angles. Oh, nice hook. That beautiful right hand behind it. We've seen him change angles off the separation and on his way in. He looks sharp tonight. Well, we mentioned his training camp and where he's from. And angles is the game there. That's what I love about that gym and, and some the, obviously some of the people there is they work the angles. Absolutely. You're, Malcolm, I can't tell you already how much of a difference I'm seeing in Jarvis from 18 months ago. This was a kid that played video games all his life. Never picked up a boxing glove in his life until a year and a half ago. And just, he looks like he belongs in a pro bout. Well, this is, as I said, we, we talked about the viral video earlier. And although it was against Mayweather, people saying, you know, what pro is this? And they said, no, he's an influencer. It was like, he, he earned respect just from that. Absolutely. And right now he's trying to earn the respect of Tom Zanetti because Tom is a guy that is willing to sit down and throw bombs. They're talking to each other a little bit here too, Malcolm. Tom's doing the right thing. Not only is he showing no respect, you notice how he's trying to hold center ring. We talked about that alpha male thing before. Tom is never trying to give up that center ring. Yeah, that's the thing here is whoever wins that battle of, of keeping that back foot in the middle and not giving ground because both guys are here to throw some big time shots. We're going to see a difference maker just like that right hand from Tom. That was nice. That was close as well. If that had just a bit more half step into it, there was a different shot there. What you're seeing right now from Tom is deliberate ones and twos and then work in the body. Whereas Jarvis is showing a lot of head movement and then trying to walk in behind his right hand. Tom is firing off ones and twos to, to try to keep him away. That term you use, Wade, I always like to look at. When you, when you say deliberate, I know exactly what you mean. And when you're against a mobile boxer, that can be your downfall eventually, unless you put the man away. Absolutely. And what you're seeing from Tom is a guy that wants to maybe go Jarvis into one of these, these firefights. 
where Jarvis doesn't necessarily stay as technically sound as we know he can be. I honestly believe that Tom's mindset is, I don't want to go five rounds. I'm going to get this guy out there. Let's lure him into this war. Let's 100%. get these shots, Tom. 100%. And you're seeing a little bit of it in the way Tom moves. Every exchange they have, when Tom separates, you even hear him say yes right there. Like, he wants this. Back and forth we go. Oh, his, big shot. His feet are flat. He's planting. He's, he's throwing everything with everything he's got. And this is a thing too, Malcolm, we talk about gas tanks. We're going five threes here, and you're seeing Tom start to gas a little bit. His mouth is already going goldfish. It's yeah. already happening. Yeah, and this is something you worry about because if anybody's conditioned, Jarvis will be. They don't even cut the AC on in Mayweather's gym because you can't cook without hot grease. So this is another guy that's been through the fire, but Tom is trying to make him go through it once again. As I said, I still think his tactics are right. If he feels that he can't go five rounds with a really good technical boxer, this is what he needs. Yep. A stand and trade and anything can land. Back and forth we go. The problem that Jarvis is having right now is while he is capitalizing when he's in range, getting to it has been a big issue for him. He's taking shots to get there. Look, the jab right hand, jab right hand. And he's only answering with one at a time. That was the first shot off balance, though, from Tom. His right leg came right off the floor, which also hints at that hey. cardio beginning to wear away. I like what Tom's doing in this round, though. I, I do like it, man, because he's making Jarvis chase him. Jarvis has not cut the ring off yet. He's, he's circled around, he's kept chasing Tom, and he walks into one, twos, and threes. If I'm being frank with you, Malcolm, I don't think Jarvis cares about being hit right now. He is wanting to make this just as much a war as Tom Zanetti is. And I don't know if it's the best strategy, but this is a fighter at the end of the day. He wants to make it a fight, too. Leonard Duran won. When Leonard said, you know, they said, what beautiful movement, Durant. And so what did he do? He stood in front of him for nine rounds. Yeah, this is, and again, you see it. Look at Jarvis walk right into it. Takes a shot, high guard, walks in, delivers his own. He's this, also saying, I have no respect for your power. Absolutely. And he's taking some of Tom's best shots. We talked about the cardio. Maybe this is the strategy. Maybe, maybe Jarvis said, you know what? You might see me as this technical guy. I'm going to beat you at your own game. I'm going to take some of your best shots, and then I'm going to walk you down in rounds three, four, and five. I mean, Tom is breathing heavy. Look way. at it. Look at, look at the balance that Tom is, is already He's starting to kind of square up on shots defensively, just fall into the ropes. Look at turning from the corner. He looked to his corner there as if to say, hey. Some big time shots there, but he, he keeps going to work. We talked to the psychology of the center ring. The psychology Something here, right. I think you've got spot on way. Jarvis has no fear of what Tom's throwing. Nice right hand there from Jarvis. He's going to need more of that, though, because even if Tom is lethargic in this round, and even if he's just shoving like he is now, he, I, I don't venture out to say he might have won this round with the volume early and just doing that to Jarvis as he comes in. Especially with the no-draw rule. When it's close, they're going to look at the, the shots thrown, the work rate. But that doesn't mean walk straight at Tom. Second down. That means set up your shots, do things to make Tom uncomfortable, and then you go first. Round number three. Well, the atmosphere again here tonight. Absolutely electric as these two go to war. Oh. And look at this right now, Malcolm. Look at the difference in the shots. Who's more crisp right now? Who is throwing with more power and more speed? Because in these first 30 seconds, Tom's already, again, breathing out of the mouth. While Jarvis is taking these shots, they're not affecting him the same way they were early on. And now we're seeing that movement. Those shots are just a, a millimeter or two out of range now, half of them. Where they were all landing, they're at, but I still... Oh, yes. oh, I was just about to say, I still admire Tom's tactics. For him, they are the right tactics. I agree. I agree. Tom has to do this because he knows that Jarvis wants this fight too. If Jarvis were to stay on the back foot, I'd say, listen, Tom's got to go forward, but he doesn't have to. Jarvis continues to walk forward, and it allows Tom to get off that jab right hand just to alleviate pressure for just a little bit. And then Tom comes back with a four-punch combo of his own. Look at that, man. Oh, big shot. Well, do you know what? Back and forth, I'm, I'm telling you. It is, and Jarvis is getting through, but you know what? Tom's getting through with a lot as well. Yeah, that's the thing we were talking about. Now, for the first time, Jarvis went downstairs. Now, when your man is breathing like that, and he's gone down with the left again, that could be the key way. Yeah, absolutely. You want to dig to the body here if you're Jarvis, which I think he's trying to get in there, but Tom is doing a good job. And I don't know what he's got left in the tank, but he's throwing it all out there, man. They say leave it all in the ring. You're seeing Tom do that exactly. And the thing he's doing well, 
is this, we talked about timing before as Jarvis walks in Tom gets him on full extension he makes him work for every punch that Jarvis gets look every time he comes in Tom's to throws two or three. Oh, they're going oh, to call think. it. That's it. They're going to call it. I, t I told you that was his yeah. tactic, Wade. Yeah. What are we doing here? So I'm saying it's yeah, over. Yeah, the towel's yeah, going in. That Jarvis. was his tactic, yeah. Wade. Knock him out. Yeah. I can't go to five. Yeah. What a game plan from Team Jarvis because I think they knew it too. This is why we saw Jarvis on the front foot, high guard, walking through shots because you know what? You can't go five with me, and I can go five with you. It makes sense. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a round of applause for both Warriors, come on! The red corner retired their fighter at 1 minute 45 seconds into round number 3. Declaring your winner by TKO, Jarvis! Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with your winner! Brother, talk to me about that performance. 18 months out, came back and put on a show, made a statement. What do you feel about that one? You know, I love this shit. I did this two years ago, and it's the exact same feeling getting back in here tonight. There's nothing better, and I can't wait to win this whole shit. That's fight number one down. I have to say, while watching that fight happen, that first round, second, you're walking forward high guard. He didn't have anything for you, huh? Yeah. I know, I was just trying to, trying to box him. I was getting a little bit in my head and getting kind of angry and swinging and let my hands go a little bit. But, you know, that's my first fight back in two years and it's just gonna get better and better. Talk to me about winning in front of all your supporters. We see him in the crowd. What did it mean to get this one done? It's, it's a great feeling having all my family and friends here. There's over 60, 70, 80 of them here supporting me, so I'm glad I could bring it home for all of them and uh, make them all proud. Now, I do have to ask, before I let you go, that's one win down and two more to go. What do you want to see in that next round? Well, of course, you know, I've got a little bit of beef with Austin McBroom, so I'd love to take him out next. But, you know, whatever happens in that fight, I'm ready for it, and I'm up for the challenge. He's up for the challenge, and tonight, he is the man on top. Your 